already tiring. I'll say. Neil. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. Me either. Okay, let's go. See you later, dude. Okay, good day everybody. It's still day 15 and I've officially completed part one of the IIT New Brunswick Trail. Now I'm walking back to the U.S. border for the yo-yo hike as my friends from the south always call this type of hike. Uh, next four days are going to be sunny-ish and I should get to St. Quentin in two days. Three days. I'm doing this. I did it two days coming here but I'll do it two days this time. That was too, too much. So do it three days and I got one more day of sun and it's five days of rain. But it's on the highway, so that's okay. I don't mind walking wet on the highway. It's cooler. Anyways, thanks for following my adventures and I'll see you later. And at the end of each video, happy trails. Thank you very much to Liz and Harvey. Hunting season starts tomorrow, so they said, do I have a bib? I said, I got a lot of other colors. Do you have an orange one? Nope. So they gave me this. So thank you very much, Liz and Harvey. You guys are great. And sorry, I forgot the picture of you guys. Sorry. And here's where I stayed last night. In between those trees up there. So now, I'm going to have a little snack. And here is the trail this afternoon, wide open. Old CN building fully dead for a long time. Also, local dump for the locals. And good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Oz, the hiking sailor. 
And as you can see, the fall colors are coming out. They're exploding all over around me. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and the sun's right there. But welcome to day 16 on the IAT New Brunswick Trail. Yo-yo hike. I completed the first part yesterday. Oh, so as I was hiking, going on the last road walk, about 5k in, I turned around because there was only a couple of feet width and the cars were just whizzing by you and the trucks whizzing by you and a couple of times, you know, the trucks, right? They push you a little bit. So, I said, blank this, <laughs> I'm turning around. I knew that would happen anyways, but I just wanted to give it a shot, but failed. So, turned around, got my resupply, uh, Dave's Grocer, I think that's his name. Ooh, hope I didn't mess that up. And of course I oversupplied. I misplaced my boxes. I should have had the other supply box I dropped at St. Quentin, dropped at Mount Carlton. Oh well. Hmm. That's that. Learned uh, lesson learned for next time. So yeah. Got uh, two surprises yesterday. A lot of ATV years out. One person gave me a uh, a bib for the hunting season that starts today or tomorrow. And the other person at night, the last person, actually said, do I need anything? I said, nope, I'm good. Maybe some water. He said, you sure you don't want anything else? And as a joke, I said, well, a Diet Coke, little bottle, and a pizza, cheese would be nice. He said, well, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. I'll see what I can do. I went, what? Oh, no, 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 let me give you some money. He said, no, don't want money. He says, well, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. So. 30 minutes later, <laughs> my tent's all set up now. It's getting cold at night. Burr. Even before I get to bed. And uh, he comes back with a pizza and a Diet Coke. A liter of water. I went, wow. So I took a picture with him, of course. Then I've been chatting to him this morning where I placed the garbage. <laughs> but yeah, trail magic. Everybody's been super nice that I met on the trail so far. All the locals from the south to the middle and to the north. But anyways, today's goal is easy. Just just inside of uh, St. Anne, the next uh, village. Found a spot last time. I'm going to go to the same spot. Should be over 20, less than 25. An easy stroll because my feet were hurting the last two days from doing a 46 and a 56. I'll be in Saint Quentin. Excuse me. I'll be in. I like that word. Quentin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Curses. <laughs> I'll be in Kedgewick tomorrow. Saint Quentin. Two more days after that, and then the nasty road walk starts. So, here's the path this morning, if you can call it that. Look at all those beavers at work again.
And this is the trail this afternoon. On day 16. Wow, what a change from the other day, right? The rain was pouring down heavily. The Appalachian R River made an appearance. It was fun. I enjoyed that hot day. It was really nice. Well, if you don't mind the rain. But it was awesome for me. I loved it. If you come prepared, it doesn't matter what nature throws at you. And this concludes the bridge tour for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, everybody, this concludes day 16 of the bridges. Hope you enjoyed it. And there's the pipe still there after I reinstalled it. Look at it go now. Nice. And good day, everybody. And welcome back to the adventures of Oz, the hiking sailor. Arr. I have to amuse myself somehow. Today, it's day 16, 21st September, Tuesday. Yesterday, like this morning, chilly start, but you're thinking about the chilly instead of the miles or kilometers, so they go by pretty fast in the morning. And by the afternoon, it warmed up to really nice weather for hiking in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> uh, my legs are getting dark. 
that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But the afternoon was so exciting. You're tired already. It's half the day's gone. Your lunch was, well, you didn't eat what you should have ate. But it was the day of the bridges. And oh my God, was it awesome. You had bridges that started at river level, like bridge level. And even those were pretty cool. And you had bridges that were at least 100, 200 feet high. Oh, the views I got. When I came up the trail the first time, I did videos of them. Too long, I think. This time I just took photos, and the photos were outstanding. Let me know if you see a bear following me, okay? <laughs> but that was yesterday. Found a good tent site. I did 22. Not my 25 goal, but that's okay. Don't know how much I'm going to do today. It's going to be at least. 20 again, 22, 25, and then it's town day tomorrow. Well, by two. <laughs> so, just fun. A campsite close to town, 10k width. Be good. So, anyways, that's it. Well, I'd be lying if I'm saying I'm having a blast going solo, but I'm having a blast going solo. I just like people. Oh yeah, people! I met some hunters yesterday. And they had a cabin six kilometers off the trail as they passed me. So I popped in for a visit. Got some homemade jerky. Some fresh well water, which they say is delicious. All the water here tastes pretty good, actually. All the way from the south to the top. Amazing. And every town boasts that they have the best water. So they were nice. They talked about other through hikers they met over the years. Not many. But uh, there are some, a couple a year. Well, number and I, and me twice. <laughs> so, that's it. At the end of each video, happy trails! And this is the trail of the morning. Rocks. Arrgh. Look what I found, a little hill. So I had to climb it to see what's on top. Beautiful. Anyways, that took my breath away. Whew. Back to hiking on a flat trail. Ooh -hoo. I tell ya, hiking on a flat trail is a very, very good experience. Good for all newbie hikers. And experienced hikers. It's fun. It's different than climbing mountains all the time. <laughs> Gotta give it a try, folks. And this is the trail for this afternoon, everybody. Pretty, isn't it?
Good day, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. It is day 18, September 22nd. I can't do this all day. <laughs> I just thought I'd try it. So, yesterday, day started off good. Got to St. Jean Baptiste. We went up that long, long, long climb. Took a couple breaks. And during one of those breaks, I got turned around for seven kilometers. Ah. So there goes my daily plan of reaching within 10 kilometers of Kedgewick. Oh well, so instead of a 10 kilometer ride, it's gonna be a 17 kilometer ride. So my record by 12 on the road walk is 16.5, but I said I'd be there by two, so should be should be doable. Other than that, oh, hunters. Yesterday, there was seven kills on the moose stuff that I figured four shots per kill. <laughs> this morning, I only heard uh, a round of four, but I saw the family that gave me water come up with a, a moose with a lot of antlers. You know, when they're full in the middle. Wow. There's a question for you. Do moose produce a lot, like rabbits? <laughs> There's so many moose taken every year, right? So, anyways, I don't know. I'll have to check that out myself. And also, when I get the Kedgewick, I get to shave my face. Natasha doesn't like shaving faces at all. Uh, gotta brush my teeth again. I keep forgetting. They're turning yellow. Oh, not good sign. Ugly. So that's about it. So happy trails, everybody. And here is the trail for this morning. And it's a windy, blustery day today. Got my umbrella ready. Got my jacket ready. I'm just waiting for the sign. Hopefully there'll be more trees overhang so I can duck under the trees and change. Not change, but you know, put on the rain gear. And that awesome umbrella that keeps my rain jacket dry. Now that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> and I confirmed I'm going in the right direction this morning. <laughs> That's important. Uh, that sign seems better days. <laughs> Somebody did not like you. And walking, I don't know if you can see it here. In a glorious fall coverage of colors. Just look at those colors, everybody. Crazy. <laughs> this is great. Uh, you guys don't know how great it is to be out here at this time period, except for the hunters. <laughs> but they're nice people. Got a lot of goodies from them for helping a hiker, help, helping a person out. Water, pizza, Coke, water chatting you know I all like to chat but anyways yeah just wow wow on this The reason for this personal best pace 
It's because of those. I want to beat the rain to Kedgwick. Oh, this is going to be touch and go. Touch and go. Arr. 11 kilometers out. 68 done. And it is 9.50. And here I come for another longer time. And yes, I will make it. The house over there. Let's check this way again. It's clear. Let's do this. Yeah. Now, what's that sign say? Five K. Oh my god, 5k! Well, for my D&D role playing games, the storm giants are trying to stop me from gaining my target for today. Oh, the evil giants, hey? But the wind giants are helping the storm giants push them closer to me before I reach my target before the rain falls. And that's the reason for the fast walk this morning. I have 4.5 left. It's 10.45 or 10.38. I'm doing good. I'll reach my target within 40 minutes, I think. Yeah. This pack is excellent for fast walking. You just gotta have the energy to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, circle around. I'm surrounded. They want me. Ah. But they will not stop this ranger boy. No. Here is that smart beaver I was telling you about earlier on the way up. Look what he's done. <laughs> he's barred under the bridge. And on the other side, is smooth water. And there's another little dam right there. So like I said before, he's probably way out there. The first 400 kilometers have been completed, everybody, on my yo-yo hike. And there's where I was staying tonight for two days. And I made the 17 kilometers by 12. Personal best record. Yeah. So happy. for two hamburgers and fries and I got everything on it. Uh, what am I gonna do? And good day everybody, take 15, 
Welcome to day 19. It is Friday, the 24th of September. I spent the last day and a half at the Rigo Motel with an excellent time off on my Nero and Zero. For the Nero, I did my personal best timing, 17 kilometers done by noon. Now, for all you younglings out there, hey, it's pretty good for an old guy. French man. <laughs> Come on, give me some credit. Uh, while I was on my little break, checked the air pad because it was losing air and then not losing air, so I I think it must be a valve problem. What would I figure after the bathtub test? It's just the valve's not sealed when I finish blowing it up, so I gotta get some air out. That's my guess. Today's goal. Pretty easy. Relax 20 kilometers since I left at nine. Thumper's probably laughing right now. Huh. You left at nine, you hoser? But well, he would have left at 11. So I'm going to get as close as I can at that 188 marker, which is a nice little spaced out tree thing. And tomorrow, head into Saint Quentin and go to the co op, get a canister, and I'll be all set. And maybe t no, you know, let's get some more food. I don't, know, I don't need any more food. So yeah, that's the plan and a special update. It is confirmed that Thumper is coming back, but that's not all. Why not is going to join us to get the last section plaster rock to the border done with me. So I'll have to go slow. Kyle shouldn't be a problem at Thumper. It'd be two weeks off the trail, right? Be out of shape again. <laughs> it's his last hike, remember? So, that's it. That's all. Happy trails. And this is the trail for this morning. Still not raining. And I'm going to take all the dry hiking I can get today. And tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, everybody, here's my campsite for tonight. I talked to the owner, he said, no problem. So what a nice guy. And Charles just up behind my tent.